As educators, we're always looking for innovative ways to use technology, and I think the use of the robot has certainly met our need. We have been using the double robots as an educational tool to engage our nursing students with our advanced practice students. Actually using the double has been kind of fun. Um, we were looking for a way to um, incorporate our nurse practitioner students into simulation. We do a couple different types of simulations. We do some with what we call standardized patients, which are paid live actors that act as patients. And then we also do some with what we call high fidelity simulators. So these are computerized mannequins that they blink, we get heart sounds, lung sounds. Um, they also hook up to a monitor. So the students get sort of an experience that would be similar to what they would see in a hospital. In the past, um, the nurse practitioner students would come and join the pre-licensure students, the ABSNs, um, in simulation. And the nurse practitioner who would be in the building, maybe in class, would be told to come you know, and help the students out. Um, when they became distance based, they were no longer here to do that. Once the advanced practice program changed to distance based, we were faced with the challenge of how can we still keep our nurse practitioner students involved in the simulations with our pre-licensure students. So the robot actually became a great way, a great tool, if you will, to have a presence of the nurse practitioners here on campus. Having a nurse practitioner presence in simulation is just very beneficial for the students. It provides teamwork opportunities, certainly communication opportunities for the students, and it goes both ways. The ABSNs are communicating with the advanced practice nurses, the nurse practitioners, and in return, the nurse practitioner students need to learn how to get the information from the ABSN students. The telepresence robots allow a end user, such as our students, to have more autonomy over their interaction and engagement in a clinical simulation. By our students having autonomy to actually drive, they feel like they are more part of our community here. We like the idea that our students are seeing emerging technologies as well because in healthcare they'll likely see the use of that type of technology so we're starting that while they're students. They're all 21st century learners so they love the infusion of innovative technology. As healthcare evolves to integrate telehealth into standard clinical practice, our educational offerings also have to evolve to meet those needs. So here at the Duke University School of Nursing, we are integrating telehealth technology into our educational offerings so that as our students graduate, they are comfortable using this 21st century technology. It really does add a presence to the um, simulation. Even though it is on a stick and an iPad, it actually makes you feel as if that person is present in the room.